The music part of it was actually quite easy to put together and then everybody started remembering why they'd stopped working with each other 30 years ago. And the, the liner notes and the, which photograph was used became interminable. I think that one's vile. You know. Box set on Shout Factory, it's everything uh, including the John Peel radio sessions, all the 12 inch dub mix singles that we brought out in the UK, which I didn't realise not many of them had ever seen the light of day in America. In the meantime, I've got a tour coming, I think, in October, where I've invited Paul Collins, who had the name The Beat here, so we will have the English Beat and the American Beat tour together and we may play in Manhattan in October. I put it in my contract, if you call me the English Beat, you're meant to pay me and I don't have to play, and I'd get there and say, tonight, the English Beat. And there'll be a line around the block. What are you gonna do, go home? No. So I thought, well, probably after the first 25 years, if you're playing the same songs, you may have lost the right to rename yourself. And so we sort of defaulted back into being the English Beat. So we evolved, devolved back into it. A lot of us were a bit older than we, when we started 30 years ago, although we seem to have a lot of young fans, and we have a lot of people who are original fans coming with their kids who are in their 20s who know all the words because they were strapped in the back of the car and couldn't escape it whether they liked it or not, you know. It turned out they did after they'd been brainwashed for enough years.